Hello, and welcome along to Adobe After Effects with your host, Robert Smith. In this video, we're going to look at a thing called the Audio Spectrum Effect, which is just magic. And what it allows you to do, it'll, let, um, it'll sync music to a, a, a graphic. So let's get stuck in. I'm going to go to File, like this, Import, File. Now the file I want is an .aif file, of a short loop that was done in uh, Apple Logic. Um, OK, you can import .mp3 files as well, or .wav, depending if you're on the Windows platform. There may be some issues there. But I've got this .aif file inside After Effects. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a composition. So I'm going to grab this and just drag it straight here onto the new composition uh, icon down here. And it'll work out how long the, uh, the audio file is and make me a comp that long. And whatever dimensions the previous composition was. Very clever After Effects. OK, now I need a solid, so I'm going to click down here, hold the control key and click. I want a new solid, like that. It doesn't matter what colour it is. And over here, I want to search for the audio spectrum, which I've already done, and there it is. If I click and grab and drag it on like that, all of a sudden, it looks totally different. So let's have a look at that. What's happening if I drag back here and let's look at a RAM preview like this. We may be able to hear some audio. That's what we want, uh, for better or for worse. <laughs> okay, so let's start to play with some of the properties. As you can see, the audio spectrum um, effect has lots and lots of things going on. The first thing you're going to have to do is go up here, select this under audio layer, and select the funk. So now it's connected. Let's play that again, have a listen, or have a look, as we can see. lines reacting to the music but not very dramatically but here's where all the magic happens down here the first thing I'm going to do is just drop my start frequency now that's got to do with mass and how um, audio is recorded so I'm just going to give it about 10 would be okay drop that down to about 10 the end frequency I'll drop that down a little bit and we seem to be getting a reasonably even um, across the um, spectrum there, we're getting a reason, I just might just drag that to the left a little bit, down to about 300, and let's have a look at that. Uh, now we're getting a more even uh, spread across the spectrum. Great, so let's thicken that up a little bit. Put a few more bands in, like this, by dragging across and make it a finer resolution. Let's go to our softness down here and drop that back to zero, so we can have some fairly hard edges on it. Very nice indeed. Now our maximum height, let's up that a bit. Let's up it considerably in fact. Okay, that's far too much at 3,700. I'll drop that down to about 2,000. Let's watch that. Okay, great. Looking good. Okay, what other options do we have down here? We have display options under digital. We can have it as a line, analog lines like that. Or Go okay, back to the start, grab it back to the start, and we can have um, analog dots, which can look pretty interesting like that. I'll go back to digital here, and here we've got side A and B. What that simply means is that you can have it coming above the line, just like that, or you can have it below the line, like that, or you can have both, and that's what I've got, side A and B. So we've got both sides of the line. OK, now let's attach that to something. Now the art of this is to put it onto a shape of some sort. And how we're going to do that is I'm going to select the layer itself. I'm going to go up here to my star, star tool, or press the letter Q. We'll do that. I'm going to hold, click on the stage down here on the star tool. Hold the option key down and the shift key down and just drag to the right which will give me a skeleton um, mask if you like. You'll notice now how it's it's become a lot shorter because it's now it's masked within a, a star shape if you like. Okay and now to connect those together I'm going to go up here under path and click on mask one and now you'll see that we go back to the start here we now have a whole lot of things going on in a star shape. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is I'll just have a RAM preview. We can watch it without. That's an interesting shape. Let's listen to it with the music at the same time. Very interesting indeed. But let's have a play around with some of the effects we can do. The first thing I might do is go to my hue interpolation. And just drag that to the right so I get a whole lot of different colours. Now I might go to my thickness and thicken it up a little bit like this. Now, these numbers, there are no rules. You just play around them until you get something you like the look of. Quite like the look of what's happening at the moment. I'll just... Very nice indeed. Okay, all these things over here you can play around with. Um, uh, it'll give you different results. And again, as I said, there are no rules. But that's a great effect, a great way of, of creating a really interesting animation. Um, using the audio spectrum effect in After Effects. Okay, thanks for watching.